So now we're going to learn how to move, rotate, and scale uh, using the transform tool. So in order to do this, I'm going to go ahead and just place a box uh, just to show you all this. Uh, so you'll notice that if I if I click on on the box and select the box, I can go up here to my transform uh, option up on the toolbar and down to move. And you'll notice that we have a whole bunch of manipulatives that have that have pulled up, and we can move this either drag or we can type in uh, a specific amount uh, here in in the option here for for moving. And so I can do that in the X, Y, and Z direction. I can also move it about the three different planes that we have: X, Y, X, Z, and the Y, Z plane. And so I can I can move anywhere within those planes. And I can also just do like a free a free move if I click the center manipulative on um, or the manipulator on my on my object. I can also rotate. You'll notice that there's three little circles or axes of rotation. So I can do that about any of those those planes that you just saw. So I can rotate it uh, about the X plane, the Y plane, and the Z plane. So about just means that it's pivoting on that axis. And so for all these, it's rotating about this center point right in the middle of our cube. So I also want to show you how to, um, another way to access the transform tool or the move tool. Uh, I can actually do control T on the keyboard and then I can click or select my object. Um, so it does the same thing, it's just going about it a different way. Um, so I can also um, change the default manipulator position. So I just said a minute ago that our manipulator is here in the middle and so I can also move that. So if I want to reorient my object I can click start reorient and I can just set a new location to reorient my object. So if I want to move it or rotate it about a specific point I can reorient it uh, about specific points. So I can do that from faces, from midpoints, from edges, um, and so I can just do that by clicking on an object or clicking on it. You notice here if I'm on a corner and then I just move the mouse like slightly in one direction, it's going to change the um, the plus and the minus x y z direction. And so um, for this case, I'm just going to do it from here. Click stop reorient, and now I have reoriented my box to that point. So every time I rotate it, it's going to rotate about that particular axis. So another thing I can do is I can also rotate it uh, about um, other geometry. So if I place another box next to it and I still want to change this object or move it, I can actually also move it from down here. So just yet another way to access the move tool. And so if I want to reorient this, I can reorient it to any point or position on this cube, but I can also represent repres reference it from another cube. So let's say I want to reference it from this corner up here. I can click that and then I can select stop reorient and so now anytime I rotate, move, drag my box um, for, for this box it will move or rotate based on or relative to this box at this point. The last thing we're going to learn how to do is scale and orient our object. So I'm going to undo those and let's just get back down to one object. And so uh, I'm going to access that by going up to the toolbar, up to my scale, click on my object. And so here I can do the same thing. I can drag to scale. So I can make it either larger and moving it in the negative direction to make it smaller. And so um, I can drag that. I can also type in specific amounts. And this would be an example of a uniform scale. If I want a non-uniform scale, that means that it's not necessarily going to change equally in all directions. So I could, I could make it twice as large in the x direction or the y direction. I can change that to a 2 to make it twice as large in only one direction. And all the other ones would stay the same. So that would be a non-uniform scale.